ESFJs have the control of an ESTJ with the kindness of an ISFJ. So what I mean by that is that ESFJs tend to be very, um, not necessarily rigid, but they have, they tend to have like a very clear way of how things should look like. And this is often because of their SI, which is very focused on like what has always worked, what is reliable, um, what has worked in the past, either for me or for other people. And then because of their dominant FE, then they'll go off of these experiences and these impressions that they've built over life, over their lifetime, so they can be able to help create the ideal environment for certain people. They can be able to carry out um, certain tasks for people that'll better create the harmony that they're trying to present. Um, ESFJs also tend to have a quirkiness to them, and this is usually because of their tertiary NE. So a lot of times people might even confuse them for intuitives like ENFJs because they play around with certain ideas to an extent and they can be a little bit like goofy. You know, I've even seen some be confused for ENFPs, but the big difference with them is that for between ENFJs and ESFJs, and if you want, then you can check out my video of the Venn diagram between the ENFJ and ESFJ, is that the ESFJ has extroverted intuition, and this is a third function, the third, third um, slot function. And so for them, they are usually playing around with ideas to an extent, and they're um, trying on like, you know, like what if this happened, and what if that happened, and they're going off in like a lot of like different tangents, and you know, pretty much chasing things, and all of a sudden wanting to do something like novel um, that may be out of the box or out of the ordinary. This also may be where they're attracted to a lot of things like maybe like Star Wars, you know, their inner nerd starts coming out a lot of times and they're like really attracted to things like that. And it's their place of play. ESFJs also tend to want to be teachers of some sort and this is because of their um, introverted thinking and so a lot of times they're trying to help other people with whatever they may have um, mastered like they tend to find like maybe like one or two things a few things probably that they try to like master so they can help other people in that sense and they tend to really be very kind um, but not always in fact Regina George was also an ESFJ so those types of ESFJs they're still using FE extroverted feeling but the thing about them is that they're using it in a sense to kind of like manipulate people or get some type of like social hierarchy or like pretty much like position themselves in a sense that will allow them to be able to be highly esteemed. Um, and so don't fall for the trick that ESFJs are always nice, but also don't think that um, ESFJs are always mean and manipulative and that stereotypical mean girl. And that's how you pretty much identify an ESFJ in real life or in fiction.